Hey everyone, it's Ashley here today, and with this video, we're going to get you thinking. At least we hope so. With that teaser of an intro out of the way, you're probably wondering, what exactly are we going to get you thinking about? Hmm. Well, we want you to start thinking about the cost of your data. More specifically, the cost associated with server downtime. Have you ever put a dollar figure on that? Although hard to fully quantify, if you really stopped, thought about it, and then tried fixing the cost to the time associated with a down server, and also the loss of productivity, and the inability to access your data from that down server, those costs can really start to add up. Pause for a moment and think about the salaries you're paying each of your employees that rely on that data to complete their daily responsibilities. We often associate monetary values to the investments we make up front, the exchange of goods and service for a specific cost. In this case, like buying a 45 drive storinator for its ability to store your company's data, whatever that might be but stop and think about the human resources that are impacted by a sudden prolonged data outage. Maybe it's 15 minutes worth of time, maybe it's three hours. Of course, we know that there's a lot of downtime and time away from one's desk for things like coffee breaks and lunch breaks, or designated periods of the day when your employees need to step away from their workstations when they simply want to clear their heads or give their eyes a rest from the computer screen. Those instances and instances like those, they're planned. Even if not at specific times, you at least know they're taking place. On the unexpected occasion, however, that your data is inaccessible, that can be a real financial setback for your organization or your department. Your employees can't do their work. They can't access their email. They can't edit the document that they just closed 10 minutes prior. They can't log into the company's shared drives. They can't perform their duties on the point of sale system, etc., etc. So many different day-to-day -day activities, depending on the nature of your business, that are suddenly stalled because your server has gone down or it's throwing an error. Therefore, the ability for your employees to complete their work in an efficient and timely fashion is no longer an option. For some companies, the impact might translate to a loss of a few hundred dollars over the span of a 15-minute outage. For other companies, this could mean tens of thousands of dollars lost over the span of a few hours. It's really hard to assess because even the smallest amount of downtime still has an effect. Both impacts are just as great, they just mean different things for every company, from its size through to the services that are delivered. Which leads us back to the top of this video, what does data loss and data unavailability cost to you? The peace of mind in knowing that your data is always going to be available we think is invaluable. That's where a 45 drive Ceph cluster can help immensely. I won't go into too much detail about Ceph clustering today. If you're a subscriber of ours here on our channel, or at least a regular watcher of our content, you already know how much we talk about Ceph. We've explained it in simple detail from a top level perspective, and we've explained it in great detail by going deeper into its terminology and functions. You can visit our Ceph clustering playlist by clicking the link listed below. But for the price tag, our basic entry-level clusters are only a slightly larger investment compared to a single server. By choosing a cluster, you are ensuring that your data and your company's data is always going to be available. You've probably seen or heard us use the words highly available to be exact. In the event of a down server or network issues, your data will be accessible as you need it when you need it. With a Ceph cluster from 45 drives, you never have to worry about the cost of lost time. Sure, the investment up front may be a tad more, but those savings you'll reap over time are truly priceless. If your current server infrastructure goes down even once for more than 30 minutes, that is potentially thousands of dollars lost in productivity time. And if that happens several times throughout the life cycle of that particular server, well, you can do the math. Possibly tens of thousands of dollars worth, depending on the size of your business 
and the salaries paid to the employees that rely on having your company's data easily accessible to them. I bet you're thinking now, aren't you? So, what are the steps that you can take to ensure that this doesn't become a regular occurrence at your office? Like always, you can reach out to us. We love solving problems here at 45 Drives. Making sure that your critical data is always available in the event of an emergency is just one of the ways that we help here. Our digital guide to clustering that is available for download on our website is also a fantastic place to start. You might not be ready to talk to us just yet, and that's okay. The guide is an excellent resource for all things clustering, and it is a great complement to our clustering playlist. Feel free to drop any questions or comments that you have below too. Our team will be more than happy to help you answer them. Until next time, 